Hey, Cancer. Welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Okay, I know that we did get some, um, we got a reading out to you guys, but it was really just for people who were in the middle of family court. So I wanted to put another reading out for y'all and see if any of that resonated. Yeah, I knew it. That's not my whole deck. I'm like, why does this deck feel so skinny? Because last reading I did, I mixed up a bunch of cards and now all my decks are messed up. Okay, we're going to start over here. So sorry, Cancer. Hang in there for just a minute. so sorry I forgot that these were <laughs> I just did a private reading and these were like all mixed up okay let's see what we can do here all right seriously cancer so sorry anyway let's get moving the last reading I did for cancer the reading I put out for you guys was really just for a very 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 select few it was all about family court so if you guys are dealing with any kind of family court issues possibly having to do with your kids or a child um, please check that out. It wasn't horrible, but it was, you know, it was very specific for specific people. So I want to do one that's a little more general here that doesn't have to do with family court. So, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, can we please get another reading out for cancer for the 27th of October to the 31st? These are very short readings, guys. They're short none of them are more than like 20 minutes long i think that the last one was a little bit longer because it was pretty you know detailed about the court thing but very short readings they're just for five days the end of october for anyone with any kind of can cancer placements please send through messages that are not about family court please send through messages for the other cancers that might need a message okay for October 27th to the 31st, 2019. For anyone with cancer placements, please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most that are not dealing with family court issues that are going to watch this reading on YouTube. Okay, I think we shuffled long enough. All right, what do we need to know the most for this cancer reading, please? What's most important? Oop, nope, didn't like the way that flew out. Got to come out the right way. Cancer reading, please. What's most important here? There we go. What else is important for cancer? Anyone with cancer placements that's not dealing with family court. This is for the other cancers that need a message. Cancer. Anyone with cancer placements? One more card, please, for Cancer. Okay. We're keeping them short because we have other cards that are going to come out of a bunch of other decks, okay? This is nice. You're about ready to start a brand new cycle, but it's in reverse. The wheel. Wheel of Fortune. Okay? It's in reverse right now. You've only... Uh, looks like Three of Cups. Beautiful. There's some kind of celebration going on here. Um, could be a reunion. Happiness. It's happiness. Three of Wands in reverse. You've already chosen your path that you want to take. You're just getting ready to turn that wheel. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Bottom of the deck. Ace of Wands. Look at it. Gorgeous Cancer. Oh my gosh. I promised myself I wouldn't look at any other cards but one bottom of the deck card because we're doing very, we're doing a lot of Oracle cards and we're keeping the tarot short. But the world, you've just closed a cycle big brand new beginning just waiting for the new beginning you're just waiting for it to start you've already chosen the path you want to take this is a very monumentous and happy happy reading beautiful cancer all right you guys have been getting a last the last readings i put out you guys had one of the best readings i've ever ever put out for a cancer you know beautiful just lovely although i have had a lot of beautiful cancer readings but it was lovely all right so if you haven't seen it go back and watch the ones i put out about a week ago cancer got a gorgeous reading maybe a little longer than a week ago but anyway let's get on this all right so oh 
picking up the wrong cards. What else does Cancer need to know here? Please just send some information for Cancer for this lovely reading they have. What else can you tell us? Anyone with Cancer placements? October 27th to the 31st, 2019. What kind of information do you want to send to Cancer? What should they... Oh, no. Didn't like the way they felt, guys. Okay, we got to come out the right way. What do we have for Cancer, please? No. Didn't come out. Cancer. Do we have anything to tell them? There we go. Oh, my God. Gosh, Cancer, shut the front door. Are you kidding me? That's like love, happiness. That's a gift. All right, let's get another one out of a different deck. What do we have to say to Cancer? Anything that Cancer should know about? Anything that's important? Okay, wow. Okay, all right. Child and man both fell out. The man and the child. Wow. All right, now, I have to tell you, the child came out in the earlier um, cancer reading, but it was all about family court, and it wasn't a beautiful reading like this, okay? This is beautiful. The wealthy man, this isn't the man, this is the wealthy man. Whoa, what's going on, cancer? The wealthy man, the child, and the flowers. This, this is always love. It can also be some kind of a gift coming in. This is gorgeous. Now, the child can be a new beginning. Okay, the child can represent a child. This man might have a child. Or this child could represent new. Um, the child card just represents new sometimes. But I do feel like it could be very interestingly enough. I'm going to get one more of these. Can I have one more card, please, for the cancer reading? What else do you have to tell them? Anything else that's important that they should know about with all these gorgeous cards they have? Oh my gosh! Cancer. These are gorgeous. Love. This is a public meeting place. Is somebody going to propose to you? For some of you, I feel like you might get a proposal. Wow, this is gorgeous. I mean, this is really gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, look at the bottom of the other deck, the child again. I just happened to look at the bottom of the deck. Wow, that's just insane. All right, I was just, that's crazy. I just happened to peek at it for some reason. I usually don't look at the bottom of those decks, not very often. Wow, something's going on for you. It's very happy. You're going to choose a direction, and when you do, blam, brand new cycle's coming in. You just, just, are, you're in the middle of closing out a cycle right now. Something about this public place, it's the park, okay, on this card, but it can mean anything about public, public place, public, sometimes public recognition, there's love, there's possibly, I mean, this is really a lot of love here. Wow, and wealthy man and child come up? I mean, what is going on? Beautiful. All right, well, let's keep on going. There's got to be something amazing. I hope you guys will tell me. All right, let's, um, let's keep on moving here. Okay, what other information or what kind of advice do you have for cancers in this situation do you have anything that they need to know any kind of advice any kind of information anything at all making new friends oh my gosh you haven't met him yet <gasps> you're going to meet him in a public place cancer you're going to meet this man in a public place he might have kids, or one kid at least. That's crazy. And I happen to look at the bottom, the magic of nature. Outdoors, maybe, because the park is outdoors. You're going to meet this man. 
Wow. Okay, let me get another one for Cancer. Anything else you can tell us? I mean, this looks like love. It does. It looks very happy and beautiful. Nope. Didn't like the way that fell out. Okay, send me a message for Cancer, please. What else should Cancer know about? These are the goddess guidance. I, lo I love this. I just had this for a private reading today. Rhiannon, sorceress, you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. That is so Cancer. Wow, beautiful. I love these angel goddess cards. I'm going to, I mean, goddess guidance cards. I'm going to get another one. We're doing two of these. Can I have another Guidance Goddess card, please, for um, for Cancers, please? Oh, no. Oops, so sorry, guys. I lost a couple. Okay, let's try that again. One, one more Goddess Guidance card for Cancer, please. Here we go. Ishtar, Boundaries. Love yourself enough to say no to others' demands on your time and energy. Wow! Ishtar boundaries. Love yourself enough to say no to others' demands on your time and energy. Yeah, because you need to get outdoors or go to a public place, somewhere at a public place, because you're about to meet somebody who's going to fall in love with you and vice versa. Now, if you have children, it's possible he's going to love your children too, which, oh my God, that'd be so nice. That would be so special and important to a cancer. All right. What else do you have to tell Cancers? This is a beautiful reading. What else can we tell Cancers that would be important for them to know or to concentrate on? What should they be concentrating on? What should they know? And guys, please don't ask me what these cards are all called because I don't know. Dragonfly Emergence. Beautiful. I love dragonflies. They're my absolute favorite creature. Dragonfly Emergence. See the dragonflies everywhere? They're beautiful. Emergence. Wow. Oh my gosh. Transformation. Like emergence coming out. If any of you cancers have been going through a really dark time, a really hard time, a really crappy relationship, or even um, your transformation, like your uh, spiritual awakening or something, you're at the end of it. It's happening. That's the big cycle you're in the middle of closing. With whatever it is. For some of you, it's, um, you, know, you know, putting behind you an old karmic relationship. Finally, let this is like the end, but in a good way. Emerging new. Emergence. You're coming out new. You've put up those boundaries. You've manifested something way better, and you're making new friends. Oh, my God, this man's going to be your new friend, and he's going to fall in love with you, and he's wealthy. This is amazing. I mean, not that that really matters, of course, but it's beautiful. I mean, it doesn't matter who the man is. I just find it funny that they have wealthy man written on it. Okay, let's go, Spirit. Give us one more card that would be important for Cancers to know about. Oh, yes, this is so Cancerian. Pet. You love and understand animals. Uh oh, who doesn't love animals? Beautiful. You love and understand animals. I love it. Okay, these are just little fun cards. All right, let's get you some after tarot because I think it's important to find out what is going on with this, with this man you're going to meet. My gosh. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please send through the messages for the people that are going to watch this on YouTube. Send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most. Please tell us what comes next in this situation for cancer. What comes next? Cancer, I just can't believe you've been having such beautiful readings. Something big's coming for a lot of you. All right, guys, I really pray that you guys are res resonating with this one more than the other one about the family court stuff. Although that, that one didn't turn out awful, but it wasn't this reading, that's for sure. All right, what comes next in the situation for anyone with cancer in their chart that resonates with this reading? What? No, it didn't come out, right? What comes next for anyone that resonated with this reading? The 
this is like the payoff. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting and you finally got your payoff. And then you're walking away. I don't think you're walking away from that man, though. Wow. Oh, my God. No, you're coming together with someone. Look at this. The path you're choosing is to come together with someone. You already had this card right here. And it was in the reverse, meaning you've already chosen the path. This is the after tarot. This is when the two of you actually come together. Beautiful. Look at the sun. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is happiness. If it has to do with children, it's happy. Really happy. Wow. What is going on? I want to see what the Seven of Pentacles is about. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here, please? Cancer reading. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Oh my goodness. Whatever you've been waiting on, you're doing it. You're taking the leap the fool. But the thing is, there is a precaution. If you're going to take the leap, you're going to have to take the full leap. You can't just partially take it. This is always a warning that you might try to chicken out. Don't chicken out because there's so much good to come. Look, you're going to come together with this man, whoever he is. Look, it's beautiful. What is going on for you, Cancer? It's like Gorgeous. Let's get you a few of these angel cards. Angel advice for cancers. Anyone with cancer placements, send some advice. I want one more. Understanding. Inspiration. Light. Strength. Wow. Strength. You could be dealing with a Leo, possibly. This reading is really, I mean, as soon as I saw the sun, I was thinking Leo. And now we got the strength card, the angel strength card. All right, whatever you're doing, make sure you have an understanding, like that you're understanding about maybe if someone has a child or maybe they're going to be understanding about your situation with your child. We have light. Oh, this is part of whatever you're going through that's like, that awakening or that transformation that you're I feel like some of you are literally with the dragonfly emerging like this beautiful light being you were once in this cocoon you were once dealing with things that were heavy and dark or you know um, hard and you're coming out of it you've had the strength to go through all of that and you're coming out like with this bright beautiful light of high vibration understanding what you went through in a way that it was such a learning and growth time for you and you're coming out feeling inspir inspired inspirational you're going to meet somebody too because you're going to be in that high vibe and i feel like you're going to meet this man i feel like some of you do not know this person yet i really don't because of the there was a couple things that came up here meeting new friends in the park they lead me to believe you you don't know this person yet. Cancer, I want an invitation to the wedding. That's all I have to say is please tell me what is going on here. For some of you, this might have just happened. For some of you, it's going to happen. For some of you, I mean, this reading's from for the 27th to the 31st. You know, timing's different for everyone. But I would say within the next few weeks, you're probably going to meet somebody really great. He might have children. If he doesn't, he's going to love your children. Oh, my God. Let me know. Please comment down below. I want to talk to every cancer out there. Talk to me. What is going on here? And I want to know, it, did you go through a dark period, and are you now coming out this brighter, better, high-vibing person uh, ready to meet somebody else who's vibing really high? Anyway, guys, let me know. Really excited for you. I'm so happy that you got such a beautiful reading. Please like the video if you liked it um, and comment down below. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.